good evening. Ciao, bella gente. Is that how I say it? <laughs> I've just started learning Italian, so I hope I uh, got that sort of right. Um, anyway, I'm here to tell you about my 15-minute rule because it is absolutely life-changing. It has made uh, the most enormous difference to my life. It's actually what's brought me here today. And it's made a huge difference to loads and loads of other people who've tried it and love it. And I want to share it with you because it, it works so well. I was um, telling a taxi driver about it recently. And he was saying, well, what is it? And I said, well, you can use my 15-minute rule on anything or everything. You can use it on to change your career. You can use it to sort out your money. You can use it on your relationships. You can use it on your love life. Stop. He said, no, stop. 15 minutes too long for my love life. <laughs> but you see, he was an Englishman, <laughs> not an Italian. My mom always said I should have married an Italian. <laughs> I, I have to say, I, I, I feel very at home here. <laughs> Not on stage, but very at home in Italy. Um, yet the, the, I, I invented the 15-minute rule to do my tax return. Um, like most of us, it's a horrible job. We all hate it. And, 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 and I don't like admin and paperwork, and it's not really my thing. But of course, we have to do it, because if we don't do it, we'll go to prison. And I don't want to go to prison, thank you very much. So, one, and I would do everything to avoid it, everything. And oddly enough, sock pairing became a big thing. I would go to the laundry in the bathroom, and I would gather up all the socks and sit and pair them. That felt such an important job. Or I'd clean the kitchen floor. Or more important, I must phone that friend back. I told her I'd call her back, and I haven't done it yet. I must call her back. Anything, anything to avoid the tax return. And then one day I thought, you know what? I'll give it 15 minutes. I don't know why I thought 15 minutes was sort of random. It just came to me. God sent, I think. I'll give it 15 minutes. So I set my alarm, and I started to prepare it, doing my tax return. Turned on the computer. That counted as seconds in the 15 minutes found some relevant documents, went to the filing cabinet, got some more documents, rushed around looking for my calculator, wrote two columns, income and expenditure, and then suddenly my alarm went, and the 15 minutes was up, and I felt fantastic. I can't tell you how good I felt, sort of out of all proportion to the task. And why, of course, I felt so good was because I'd started it. And I've taken the nightmare out of it. And I've taken the feelings of being overwhelmed out of it. And I was enjoying it so much. I never thought I could enjoy a tax return, I tell you, uh, that I wanted to carry on. But something told me, no, I've got to stop now and trust myself. So then the next 15 minutes I did, and the same thing, and I got much further on than I poss could possibly have thought I would. But I, again, I stopped after 15 minutes. And then I thought, this, you know, this really works. This really works. So I started trying to do it on other things. I used it to sort out my wardrobe. I used it to have a difficult conversation with somebody. And, and then I thought, you know what? There's a, there's a book in this. And there was. And there is. And I used my own 15-minute rule to write the 15-minute rule, how to stop procrastinating and take control of your life. And I used my 15-minute rule to get it published. So I'm, I'm, I was getting more and more enthusiastic about this. Then Japan bought my book. Then Italy bought my book and published it here in January. And actually, I want to do a whole series of them, 15-minute rule guide to anything and everything, because it works. Now, let me try this bit of Italian. Semplici passi. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm actually using my 15-minute rule to learn Italian, and I've only been doing it for about two weeks, so it says I'm 6% fluent. I have a little way to go yet. But if I keep doing 15 minutes a day, well, hopefully, you know, here we go. So this is how you do it. So you can use it, as I said, on anything or everything. You can use it to do all those horrible jobs you've left undone, but you can also use it to create a wonderful new life for yourself. 
to make those dreams come true. Because nothing's stopping you from making those dreams come true except you. And a lovely Thomas Carlyle quote is, our main business is not to see what lies dimly at a distance, but to do what lies clearly at hand. So set that timer on your phone and start your 15-minute rule. Now, what do you think you would like to do it on? Is anybody here who would like to volunteer what they would like to use the 15-minute rule on? Because I can tell you exactly how to work it. <laughs> Don't... Don't worry. Uh, but I'm sure you will think, if you're here with somebody, sitting next to somebody, a partner, sister, you might think he, she could really do with a 15-minute rule. But uh, you can talk about you, perhaps talk about that afterwards. I, I really love the 15-minute rule because it works. It, it's like magic. And there's another yeah, Carl Jung quote, you know, you are what you do, not what you say you'll do. So there is nothing to stop you doing what you want to do. You know, don't sabotage yourself anymore. Don't, don't put obstacles in your way because, and if you think, oh that, oh, that just seems much too difficult or much too overwhelming, just think, well, I'll, I'll give it, I'll just give it 15 minutes and, and, and go for it. The other joys of it are that when you do that 15 minutes, it's, it's, it's like a real safe time frame, and you feel contained, and you're free to let your imagination run away with you, and you don't have to censor yourself. You can just get on and do it, and you will be amazed, because 15 minutes is short enough to be manageable, but it's long enough to achieve something very worthwhile. And the Goethe quote, which I love, you know, the moment one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. And all sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. And believe me, that is so true. Now, the best way, as I said, to work it is I suggest you do three lots of 15 minutes over a three-day period. The first two, it's very, very important that you stop when your alarm goes off. Even if you're gagging to go on, even if you think, I'm really into this now, it'd be mad to stop. I'm going, no, no, no. You have to give yourself the message you trust yourself. It's so important. From the third 15 minutes, you can carry on as long as you like. But the minute you get bored, tired, or fed up, you know, then stop and just 15 minutes next time. As I say, I, I get a lot of feedback. Men, women, and children have all used this. And, and even the most cynical, have, when, I, when I've suggested that perhaps they just try it, they've come back and they said, we can't believe it. We can't believe it. And it's fun, you know? And it really makes me think of the Mary Poppins thing, you know, when she was sort of nagging the children to tidy their room. I think she was doing a secret 15-minute rule on them. But, you know, you find the fun and snap the job's a game. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake, a lark, a spree. And if I'm not careful, I'll break into song. Actually, that's something I want to put on the list, for my 15-minute rule list. I really, really want to write some songs. Um, anyway, that's a, 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 a for, for another day. The other thing that I suggest <coughs> is, again, is an acronym I invented call, called your ace card. Attitude changes everything. And it, it really, really does. And you know, we all have an ace card up our sleeve. And we can pull it out at any time and use it and make it work for us. And I beg you to use, to, to use that ace card. I am so passionate about this, as, as, as you can tell. And I have, as a result of doing this, I have become oh, so much happier. I can't tell you. And, and I mean, and you can use the 15 minute rule to find happiness. You can use the 15 minute rule to break addictions. There's nothing you, you, you cannot use the 15 minute rule on. And as Thomas Jefferson says, nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude on achieving his goal. 
Nothing on earth could help the man with the wrong mental attitude, of course. I am really so happy that you have sat here and listened to me for nearly 15 minutes now. <laughs> and I really, I really hope that some of you are thinking, yeah, yeah, I'm going to try it on something. And if anybody's brave enough to volunteer what they'd like to try it on, then please do tell me or get in touch with me. And if I can help in any way, uh, I will. So as the first 15 minutes, whatever it is you choose, brainstorm, just brainstorm. Any idea, any drawing, any doodle, any... Even if you think this is crackers, you know, just get on and do it. Um, uh, uh, Anthony Trollope, I discovered recently, wrote in 15-minute sections. And the email my friend sent me to tell me this, she entitled it, Great Minds Think Alike. How lovely. <laughs> but, you know, year, donkey's years ago, and he wrote for three, three hours a day for 15 minutes at a time and wrote at least 47 novels, I think it was. And I must get on with my novel, too. <laughs> um, as I say to my daughter... Choose your thoughts wisely. I also say that to myself. Because, of course, that's all the cognitive behavioral therapy stuff. You know, how we think is how we feel. And if we're feeling rubbish, we're, if we're, we're thinking rubbish thoughts, I bet you. If we're feeling good, we're thinking good thoughts. So choose your thoughts wisely. It's... Thanks again for... Yeah, and, and for... For, for listening to me, but I just want to add the importance of two profoundly important things, willingness and enthusiasm. Think of it as we, willingness and enthusiasm. They, they, and if you can't find it, if you've lost your willingness and enthusiasm, look around for it and, or work the 15-minute rule on how can I get it back? Because with willingness and enthusiasm, there's so much you can achieve. There's a lovely phrase I heard, which is, God moves mountains, but he expects us to have a shovel in our hands. Well, I'm really hoping that I might have inspired you to pick up the 15-minute rule today as your shovel, because by using it today, you can guarantee yourself some very happy tomorrows, I promise you. Grazie. Thank you.